see you. Kivot chamale olam, your glory fills the whole world. Um, and this is something that our um, our um, new Lev Shalem Machzor has included um, in our in the liturgy. We have it in our Machzorim on um, on the night of of um, Kol Nidre, and we've been singing this setting, a beautiful setting by um, a mentor of mine, Dan Nichols. And so I'm going to put that up for you. Tune up for a reason. <laughs> Works in, in progress. Um, and we were thinking about the, the words of this poem tonight. Um, and there's a, a parable, a story for the season of a prince who was very far away from his father. A long journey of more than a hundred days away. And his friends said to the prince, return to your father, go home already. And he replied, I, I can't do it. I don't have the strength. And he got word from his father at that time. And his father said to him, come back as far as you can, according to your strength, and I will go the rest of the way to meet you. Come back, his father said, as far as you can, with whatever strength you have, and I'm going to come the rest of the way. I'm going to meet you. And so, 
we're taught that Kadosh Baruch Hu, the Holy One, says to Israel and says to all of us, return to me and I will return to you. Um, as we read in the prophet Malachi, Shuvu Elai Shuva Aleichem. In the words of the Midrash, God says, Pithuli kepithoshel machat, make for me an opening the size of the eye of a needle. And ni aftach lachem kepithoshel ulam, and I will make for you an opening the size of a grand hall. Hmm. I think that the idea is not that we not just that we have to take the first step but by going as far as we can even the smallest increment we are creating a space and even in the tiniest space there is room for god and god is where we let god in as we discussed two weeks ago and and going back to the words of, of the poem that we started with, we, we call out, God, where can I find you? Um, and we hear this, this response, I- I'm coming out to meet you. Um, I'm, I'm coming towards you already. And it can be so hard to open ourselves up to that vulnerability of trusting that, that we will be found, <laughs> that someone is, is out there um, looking for us and witnessing us and um, ready ready for us to come back and ready to to find us and take us back. Um, and so we're gonna sing another song um, with the intention of opening up our hearts and finding as, as wide as we can, even if it's only the size of the eye of a needle, whatever uh, space we can find. Um, for that, starting that journey, going as far as we're able to go at this moment, even if it's um, one breath, one tiny opening. We are loved, loved, loved by an unending love. We We are are loved, loved, loved by an unending love. We are loved.
open up my heart I know I am love I know I am love open up my heart I know I am love I am love I am love I am love open up my heart I know I am love I know I am love open up my heart So much of this period of Elul is just about breaking away all of the, the layers of gunk, the uh, ossification of our hearts that make it difficult for them to, to resonate with, with the love for ourselves, love that we have for each other, to receive the love from the divine, and like we've been discussing, opening up our hearts and longing. And sometimes the way that we find an opening is that we're broken open, that our hearts break open and something comes in and light pours out at those times. There's a teaching why in Behafta, why, why do we say we put the, the words on our hearts? Why would we put them on our hearts and not in our hearts? Um, the Hasidic teaching that it's for those moments when our hearts break open that the words of Torah will come in at those times. So we want to um, sing another Peace together, Rachamana, uh, calling out to God who is the, the womb of the whole world, the source of compassion, the one who answers us when we're at our lowest place. We're, we're calling out, please answer us. The one who answers the brokenhearted, answer us. Rachamana de ane de ane la ane oive ane na Rachamana de ane de ane la ane
priest Leonard Cohen who writes ring the bells that still can ring forget your perfect offering there is a crack in everything that's how the light gets in we are all broken-hearted people coming together with whatever opening we have to let in the light We bring back a song that we sang a couple of weeks ago. Ah, yes. Um, based in Psalm 27. Let me dwell with you all my days. Shivti beveta vayal orachemim. From Aviva Chernik. Let me dwell with you, dwell with you, let me dwell with you all my days. Let me dwell with you, dwell with you, let me dwell with you all my days. Let me dwell with you. Sheep. 
part of our spiritual practice and it's so hard to be without dance partners. We had a Zoom kids and toddler dance party on over Sunday. The weekend. That was fun. I think we enjoyed it more than our kids. <laughs> and they enjoyed it a lot. Dance. Let me dance with you. Dance with you. Let me dance with you all my days. Let me dance with you. Dance with you. Dance with you all my days. Shifti Veveta Vaya Leorech Yami. ourselves towards love. Where are we in relation to love? Is that something that our hearts are open to feeling? Are we in a space where we're able to give love to ourselves or others? How are we with receiving love these days? And are our hearts feeling full? Are they feeling broken? 
Are we just not feeling anything when we check in and see where our hearts are at? And whatever it is that we're feeling, may that be fodder for softening, for deepening, for opening our hearts more to be present to the love that surrounds us and fills us all the time that our tradition says is more accessible to us in this month of Elul. In a moment, we will transition to Mariv and we'll just sing that song again as a nigun and anybody that um, feels called um, to close their practice at this point is welcome to or to stick around for a mindful minion um, with Rabbi Annie in just a moment. Let me lay thy 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 just taking this time for singing, for breathing, for being. And that is enough. <laughs> 